here at Lundholm Gymnasium where the UNH men's soccer team just took on the Northeast Passage Powercats in their second annual Roll to the Goal soccer competition. I was able to catch up with head coach Mark Hubbard and a couple of the players after the game. This event is the most important um, night of the year for us. So, you know, we could win every single game, but um, it, you know, it doesn't compare to, to what this means and uh, what it means to support Lucas, our, our adopted uh, team member, and his Northeast Passage team and their quest for a national championship. So anything that we can do to, to help and educate um, you know, the general public is, is a great, great thing. Obviously with each year the, the relationship between Lucas and our, and our team uh, grows and um, extends to him coming to our games and practices, us going to his game and practices, and, and that sort of that relationship extends to off the field, and and um, and I think just I think even for our alums that aren't even here, uh, still stay in touch with them, even whether they're across the globe or not. So the relationship with Lucas and Linda and the family and the Northeast Passage family is a very important one to us. Our guys uh, idolize Lucas. Um, uh, he's a bright, bright person, uh, shining shining personality that's really um, really inspiring and every time you look at him and what he's been through and um, still extreme positive character so that's something that um, I think a lot of our guys sort of use as, as inspiration and motivation to be successful in their own lives. It means a lot for us to have this, this connection. I mean this is the second year in a row that we've done this event and it, it's been great. Um, the, the fact that when, when you see somebody with a disability you don't automatically think sports, right? But I have people in my program that play soccer. The guys on the UNH men's team, they play soccer. And so essentially we're all soccer players together. And this event tonight allows us to come together to play our version of the sport and, and really just kind of come together as athletes. So the fact that they support us and we support them, it, it's such a great feeling. When our respective sports are in season, it, it's great because we come out to their games when they play here on campus and then when we host tournaments they come and watch us and so you know we're, we're out there cheering each other and the fact that Lucas goes to their practices and cheers them on and supports them during practice and sometimes some of their guys come to our practices as well it, it really is kind of a, a, a family relationship where we're out there supporting each other in all asset aspects. I, I think in a lot of ways when when you play a sport for a university there there's a certain air about you when you say you're a, you're a college athlete or you play for UNH Wildcats there, there's a certain air again a, about you and so the fact that we have those guys supporting us our, our kids can look up to them and say wow we have we have really really good soccer players who care about what we're doing and and, and enjoy what we're doing and support what we're doing I, I really think that's a big boost to our relationship it was very fun and entertaining I had a really good time it feels really good as a sense of unity and that we all come together as one. It's very fun because I get to bond with the players. So being a part of the men's soccer team, we definitely have different outlets that can help out with trying to shed some light on Northeast Passage. So being able to hold these type of events are kind of like our way of giving back, which might not seem like much and really isn't like much. We need to do a lot more, but simple things like this are definitely a way to open up an avenues for other people to get to know what Northeast Passage is about and what they do for people. So I became a part of this and got a part of Northeast Passage and volunteering with them because Lucas Courier has become an honorary member of our team. And once Lucas Courier came on, I remember I was injured. I got to meet him, I got to meet his mom, and I thought this is an incredible duo right here. I thought it was really fun to get to talk to. And so Lucas and I hit it off. He loves sports. I love sports. He's a big Boston fan for sports. I'm from Portland, Oregon, so we kind of were bickering about that. I'm also a Yankees fan. He's a Red Sox fan. Simple things like that, we were going at it. So it was really fun to get to talk to him. And so I was like, I really wanted to get to meet him and see him in his atmosphere. Like he's gotten to see mine and mine. So we kind of worked together a little bit. He helped me get involved with the Northeast Passage program and then from there it was crazy. I got to see things I didn't realize. I didn't realize like my first practice I went to with them, they played kickball and then you tagged people out by hitting the ball into their chair. I've never seen anything like that. So that was definitely eye-opening. Made me realize that things like Northeast Passage and programs like it really open up avenues for these kids, these other humans that might seem like they have a disability to be equal with all the rest of us. This means a lot to me um, as someone who 
participated in sports when I was in my wheelchair and Northeast Passage played an, a huge, huge part of my journey and especially to where I am today. And so it's really important that I can give back and continue to help other athletes pursue their sports, uh, their sports dreams. It was definitely not expected. I think I would have worn something that uh, a little, I wouldn't have wear boots. I probably would have just worn like yoga pants and a t-shirt, uh, but it was fun. It's really hard. So I really was bad at it, but it was a lot of fun. I would say just keep following your dreams and don't let anyone or anything define you, especially your disability. It's just something that makes you unique and it makes you awesome and it allows you to have this platform to do good in the world.